In this lesson, we'll cover editing a fabrication part. So you may say, well, what is editing a fabrication part if in the previous lesson we edited fabrication parts using the editing tools? Well, editing a fabrication part means changing its values or its connector types. So for example, to do that, in the model we have on our screen, I'm going to choose the last piece of ductwork. With it selected, the ribbon changes, and on the ribbon, I'll choose Edit Part. When you do that, properties for this actual fabrication part open up. The first tab on the right is the dimensions of this part. Now, depending upon what type of part you choose, will show different or more dimensions. Here's where I could change the value from what it's currently set at to something different. You also have a tab for connectors. Again, depending upon the part, there may be more or less connectors. Here, you can change the end type of connector or the connector type on each end. You can also lock these. Click OK or Cancel once you're done. Same thing is true for other parts. If I choose the end cap, I can click Edit Part for it, and I can view its values. Similar dimensions, a little different though because of the type of part this is, and the connector here only has one connector, hence how it's connecting in as an end cap. Click Cancel. For the elbow, similar situation. If I click the elbow itself, you can click Edit Part on the ribbon. You can also click it in the property area on the left as well. And here, similar things. However, for this, I have multiple dimensions. You also have this two end connectors that you can change. Click OK. So as a review, in this lesson, we covered what editing a fabrication part means. We then looked at how to edit the dimensional values of the part we're editing, and we also looked at how to edit the connectors for each end of that part that we are editing as well.